had to cut off the camera because I was very weirded out. I remember this video. I think when you see the the looks and how it's gonna look like, how you're dressed and how this is, and when you start thinking about what no, you No, I know said, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be, it's gonna be beautiful. Like it's it gonna feels be uncomfortable. really, really. I think we, when we do this with other artists, I'll turn this to Micah, the director. Um, I feel like this was kind of a cry for help because why would you even post this footage? Why would you even post this at all? You know, she looked like she finna cry. That's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now. But I'd rather just be like, <laughs> Let's not go too soon now. I feel the same. And a lot of girls say that might not. Hey, oh, <laughs> I would rather pass that one to you. Yes, All right, y'all. In this video right here, we're gonna be talking about Miss Queen Nyjah. Okay, you can already tell by the title what we're gonna be getting into today. Shout out to Lady Underscore Jane for putting out this video. So let's see exactly what's going on in this video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I upload on my channel. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Tell your mama, tell your uncle Joey. Still a host. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. Let's get it, y'all. Okay. Um, where do you see yourself in ten years? I don't know if God is gonna come back. But if he don't come back, I see myself very, very successful. Can you say, I don't know if God is going to come back? All right, y'all. So I just had to put a snippet in here and let you guys know, man, she's probably talking about God coming back to earth to pick up his children. It could have a double meaning to it, but if she's blatantly saying this on video for people to see, I'm pretty sure she's just saying, if God don't come back, I'm gonna blow up and be successful. So let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Honestly, I do feel like she probably is just talking about God coming back and scooping up his children. Let me know how y'all feel. The devil will give you whatever you want, bro, but it comes at a price. Nothing is for free and the devil don't play fair. We say this all the time, man. The devil will blow you up for sure. But what comes with that? There's always a price to pay. There's a price of fame businesses and all I also see myself in the music industry. I don't want to say in the industry because I really don't want to be in the music industry. It's like I want to be independent. But I see myself somewhere being successful, doing music, she ain't expanding no more. my family. Potatoes and celery. Mm. Do you have a plan B if YouTube doesn't work out? Doing YouTube has been very successful and life changing. Before this, I was working a nine to five, well, not nine to five, eight to four security job and like well, ever since I got fired from that job it's like I don't know like when I started doing YouTube it just changed my whole life like mm -hmm. we moved from a one bedroom apartment to this nice four bedroom house it's just been a success so I, I think from here it's not really gonna be that she's pointing out the hand sign but and once again, guys, just because they throw up hand signs does not mean that it, the intention behind it is bad. But we all know when it comes to the industry, those people, you know, that worship not God, they have a different type of guy. Y'all already know they're down with the devil. They are using those symbols for, you know, to pre pledge their allegiance to Satan. Uh, Half Arabic, or let me say Arab. Because people say Arabic is a language, but Arab, I'm half Arab, Arab, and then Arab. the other part is Black and Italian. My mom is Black, Italian, and Indian, but I don't know how much, so I just say Arab. It says, yet her other two children look nothing like you, only cool. Black and Italian, because my daddy, he's the one that's Arabic. He's fully Arab. I don't know my daddy. That's a whole nother story. I will tell y'all that in another video, a story time. When were you born? 10, 17, 1995. What's your favorite drink? Drift. Since I was three years old. Let me tell y'all, I used to go to church with my grandma. She used to just make me get up there and sing, bro. Like, and I used to be up there like, Now I find for and I'm saying, come on now, at three, does, pe does anybody remember what they were doing at three or any memories from the age three. I really don't, to be honest. Just playing, some I people like got that, good memories. She used to make me sing. So since I was about three, I've been singing. It's like, I always loved it. And God just blessed me with this beautiful voice and I'm just gonna use it to the best of my freaking ability. Um, Next question, how was it growing up? It was just me and my mama for six years until I was six years old. And then she met someone else and had two kids by him. Um, growing up, it was like, it was, it was kind of hard. I'm not gonna say that, you know, I was poor, but we did struggle. You know, I watched mm -hmm. my mama struggle a lot. That's why I Same always tell myself, when I finally make it, it's real. Oh, gotta get on the floor. What? Why can I put you on the floor? I feel like Terrell and Tina look alike. Like her mom, though. Let, Let me know in the comment 
was thinking about Lord, you feel like Queen doesn't look like her mom and look like her, you know, Terrell and Tina. I feel like they all favor. You know, Queen definitely has a little different look, I will say, but yeah, I do feel like uh she definitely favors her mom, Miss Mama Love. Let me know how y'all feel. Watch this video real quick because I know that, you know, Queen Nigel, she uh records her life every day just to, you know, make money and to let her fans know what's going on, let her fans be able to keep up with her life or whatever. But I just feel like this roast that her sister and her brother was doing is something that should have been kept private. Yes, it was funny and entertaining for other people to see, but me personally, I just think that that's just something that should have been kept, you know, in her archives or whatever because not only was the brother starting to get serious but it was just like it's embarrassing and it's embarrassing that they feel this way and i watched a couple of her videos where they're constantly you know roasting each other constantly calling each other fat or whatever like i don't know it's, i it's mean just that's mean, what people do though. like especially simply certain they things talk the, the fans don't need to see now secondly i just want to hurry up and throw out there that this does not looks like um, Queen family to me. This looks like some type of family that they paid to play her family. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but none of them look alike. And even though she tried to explain in the video that I'm about to show you guys that, you know, they have different fathers. Me and my sisters and brothers have different fathers, but the fact that we have the same mother, we all still look alike or we all still favor each other some type of way. Like, I feel like they do favor each other though, right? Or still related. Y'all let me know that, you know, certain and families are different, but there's no way me. that. Don't let me it. Now take that out. Edit that part out. You look like you're one of those fat kids, you know, those fat workers that, that work at Wendy's and fix the ice cream machines and stuff. Talking about the seems to be jammed up. Go over there, an ice cream pump will start catching up, sir. You stretch it out, sir? You stretch it out, sir? And I just want to tell you guys the truth behind my family. This is the title of the video, The Truth Behind My Family. I posted a video with my family in it not too long ago. Actually, like a week ago. I had my mom in it, my sister, and my brother. If y'all haven't seen that video, Meet My Crazy Family, go watch it. But for those who've seen it, um, this is what this video is going to be about. So, I want to tell you guys the truth behind my family. Because I've seen a lot of comments on there saying things like, Oh, uh, are you adopted? Mm. Did you hire this family? You know, mm, the Daniel damn, video. Really? Like, the one that's stupid. To Did hire really family, a fake family? No. Um, y'all wanted to know was I adopted? And, you know, I guess the reason why is because I look different from my, my brother and my sister and my mom. Well, a lot of people said that I favor my mom. Yeah, I think you favor your mom. The other two, but. I'm not related by blood. Keisha and Keishandra. We're not related by blood, but we've been, you know how like you so, you've so been so close with somebody like for years that y'all just like family. So they're like my family. I would just say my sister doesn't look like me to me. You know what I'm saying? So I wake up every single morning and I have another breath to breathe. I have another leopard print facts. That's kitten programming, okay? You guys gotta look this stuff up. Right? Chance every morning that everybody wake up. That's God giving us a sex kitten programming. Another chance to get it right with him. You know, and sometimes I be feeling like I strayed away so, so far mm -hmm. from him. Mm -hmm. That it's like hard to get back. Mm -hmm. You can always to where I belong with him because like I'm so far away sometimes. I feel like that's just probably the enemy trying to distract me because no matter what you're doing and no matter what you did like last night or the day before or no matter what you have a problem doing, what, what your issues are, God always wants to keep you close. He wants to have that relationship with you so that, you know, if anything, you know, do happen, you can have some kind of faith. And not just if anything do happen, but just to just to keep you in his arms. But really, it's 
it's really like our decision, you know, mm -hmm. whether we want to yeah, free will and choice. stay close to him or not. And, you pick and sometimes side. it gets really hard because when you get so wrapped up in what you're doing, it becomes like Allegedly. a routine. And so you forget about what you're really supposed to be doing. Back. He's blessed me to come a very, very, very long way from where I used to be. And sometimes I don't understand why he keeps blessing me the way he does. And I Sometimes it ain't God blessing you, it's the devil. And I sit here and I think, well, God. Especially when you sell out. It's like, I'm not. I'm not fully committed and like I, I know like I said, I'm no angel man. None of us are. But it's like I know who he is and I, I do have a foundation. You know, my mom one thing my mom did for me was make sure I knew who God was. And I sit here and I just be thinking like I really don't deserve all these blessings. She look like she got so many regrets, you know. It's a blessing, that, you know, not because I was they are not praising letting the other God. things hold me back. You know what I'm saying? So it was really my fault because we are in control of our own. Well, God is in control first of all, but we are in control of our own destiny. What are we talking for, Mom? Shut up! Like it's frustrating, but it's rewarding. What do we love most about each other? You can go first. Um. What do you love most about me? Just most? Like that's very who asked that? That's like, what do you love most? Most. Usually people say like you know three things. Nurturing like the nurturing side of you. Not not all girls have that nurturing kinda kinda side, you know what I mean? I like that about you. I like the uh, it's a Do you like her ass? All girls have that nurturing kind of kind of side, you know what I mean? I like that about you. I like the. Uh, it's a, it's that makes a, sense. What the f do I like about her? <laughs> now, I'm gonna just say this as well, all right? You can grow to love somebody. You can grow to fall in love with somebody. Right? Just because you weren't initially attracted doesn't mean you're not feeling them now, if that makes sense. This does not mean that Clarence doesn't like love her to death now. Your, your big heart. You have a big heart. Bittersweet. Bittersweet with your heart. It's but I love it though. I, I wouldn't recommend you ever change, but definitely. Once again, like I said, if Queen was just a random, all right, I don't think that Clarence would have really took her serious. That's just my opinion, but that doesn't matter because we are four years down the road, five years down the road, and he may really genuinely love her. She gave him his first kid and all of that. So you gotta just factor all of this, you know, into the equation. If she's happy, I really hope she is happy. If she's happy, then great. If she's not happy, then hey, it is what it is, right? The direction to see, especially in the world we live in today, you're like one of one. I got a piece of that. I've only seen, I've only, yeah, like you're one person I've met that's like. Really? Just like, oh uh, yeah, just you so innocent in like a world like today. It's like. Babe, yeah. when we were talking on the phone, you, you said that's what you loved about me. Like when we innocent. first, like. Really? It, is, it was like I had some kind of like really? innocence to me. Like it, and it was like different. I'm trying to see the good What's thing. a Bible verse that helps you when you're down? To be honest with y'all, I need to like read the Bible more. Mm -hmm. Truthfully, because I don't know one by heart. Which that's bad because I, I, I feel like when people say they grew up in church, I mean, it don't mean that you was really all in the Bible and you was reading scriptures and memorizing scriptures and going to Bible study, actually understanding your Bible and actually understanding the religion that you practice and all of that. Some people just grew up in the church. Hell, I grew up in the church. Yeah, I can't even say one Bible verse, okay? Thou shalt not kill. That's a commandment, ain't it? Y'all know what I mean, all right? So just because you grew up in the church does not mean that you gonna know any scriptures or anything like that because I damn for sure did not. All right. <laughs> the first one that just came to my head right now, I would say Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. 
plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. The reason why I thought of that first um, as, a, as a verse to keep me like in good spirits is because like I feel like no matter what we go through in life, at the end of the day, God still have a plan for us and he still and this lady walk in the other direction. They said it's mountain lions up I here. remember this. I, I remember mean, this. they just had an earthquake. They just had an earthquake last week. Everybody acting normal. I, I don't I don't understand. It's hippies up here. I just see I see a bunch of hippies in a van. I see Scooby Doo van. I had to cut off the camera because I was very weirded out. I remember this video. I think when you think the the looks and how it's gonna look like, how you're dressed and how this is, and when you start thinking about what no, you I said, thought it was gonna be good. It's gonna be, it's gonna be beautiful. Like it's she gonna feels be really, really. I think we, when we do this with other artists, I'll send us the mic or the director. Um, I feel like this was kind of a cry for help because why would you even post this footage? Why would you even post this at all? You know, she looked like she finna cry. They don't have the. She's looking like, oh lord, what did I get myself into? I can't imagine having that feeling like, dude, it looks like it's hitting her right now. Like, this is, this is, I'm in some deep thai, okay? If you don't know what thai is, it's poop, it's shit, okay, in Tagalog. She in some deep thai, okay? And it's, it's just not, it's not good. It's not good and she sees it and she knows it and she feels it and she knows it's wrong. It's tough. Thank you. All right, y'all. So, um, I had to. I'm in. I'm in this sprinter by myself. Um, I had to really calm down because going up this hill like i have to show y'all how far we are up in the sky we in the mountains and we like literally drove a, a sprinter van way up this this mountain and like you literally can look down and the whole truck could just fall like no railing at all like it was so scary and then i get up here and we're in this like old antique building from the 1950s and they have all these People looking stuff in the and I just had to pray because it's scary. It's scary. I'm not gonna hold you up. Like it's been a lot of spiritual stuff happening to me, and I feel like God is trying to get my attention. And it's been a lot of chaos going on on the internet. And just, just so many things happening at one time, and um, even like the hurricane situation, like that's messing with my gender reveal. That's probably gonna be postponed and canceled for right now. It's just so much, but I had to recuperate and get myself together, so I wasn't able to show you guys. Water. <laughs> Listen, she didn't want to sit in that chair. She said the chair gave her bad energy. She said, so I was laughing because I knew I was about to trick the directors about the chair they wanted me to sit in because it looked really evil, so I was going to start shaking when I got in the chair. <laughs> Bad vibes. Bad vibes. Okay, so the rope is tight right in the face of the corner. All you gotta do is stand up on the And here's something that I thought was important. All right, you guys, um, I have this thing where, like, if I feel something, I might start shaking. So, if I start shaking. Y'all remember this vlog, y'all? By the way, I was not about to sit in that evil looking chair, but you're in the evil ass industry. I told them I'm only standing. They really wanted me to sit in that chair. This is the biggest thing, guys. A lot of people want to and like, they want the Drake level success, the Beyonce level success and all of that, but they don't want what comes with it, bro. You can't be one foot in, one foot out when you're working with the devil. You working with them, you working with them, all right? That's your side. So you can't, you know, like, oh, uh, I don't want to do this because that you're in this lady. I don't know what all Queen has had to do to actually, you know, get down and make her deal, if y'all know what I mean. But 
you know, like, this comes with it, baby. This comes with it. And a lot of people try to play the game with the devil a little bit and then come back over here and play with God. It doesn't work that way. You got to pick a side. And if you sold out, you pick your side, you know? So either stay over there or risk leaving, going with God and having faith that God is going to take care of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and wash, wash all your sins away. But anyway, guys, this should get deep. Here's what, I'm, here's what I'm seeking to turn back like emotion. I'm taking it in the public in the way that you want it. She's trying to bring humor to it because she feels uncomfortable. I was acting silly, but then they frowned to put on. I was very unsure about like wearing it because it seemed evil looking. I like it. I like it. Well, yeah. How do you deal with it? The stylist blessed the crown before she put it on. I don't. You should laugh. You wouldn't trust it. You wouldn't trust it. You better stop. Queen, can we, can we get it? Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, I'm sorry. We're starting to get frustrated because she didn't want to go along with her sick mess fast. And, that's, and they have a right to feel upset because you know you're on the devil's playground and you're not playing by the rules that you signed up to play. Come on now. Okay. I just said that. You know what came with this. You know that. The chair made me feel like a black crow instead of a white dove. I was scared of the A black crow. <laughs> that shit do look spooky. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I know, but I still feel, I don't feel soft. I feel like a black hole. <laughs> okay, oh, You're not even thinking fire because you're thinking food. Yeah. What kind of ribs? Pork ribs? Beef ribs? I'm sorry, man. Pork ribs. She always rock it back and forth. Yeah. Y'all remember, I don't know if y'all seen it. I'll put a clip in here of Beyonce doing the same rock back and forth. Guys, these people are doing witchcraft, black magic, all of this stuff, guys. They're allowing themselves to be possessed by these devils, these, these demons, and all of that. All of what I'm saying, guys, in this video is alleged. But this is what I believe, okay? Believe what you want. I'm not trying to influence anybody to believe what you want, all right? I don't care if you all the way disagree. Great. Leave it in the comment section down below. I'm not here to try to get people to be on the bandwagon of, oh, yeah, this happened, that happened. Happen. Diamond's right. No, I could be absolutely wrong from your perspective. Okay, I'm not trying to sway anybody. But how I feel, guys, is they're doing witchcraft, they're doing black magic, they're doing all of these things, summoning these demons and stuff like that to help them achieve certain goals. And they're making different sacrifices, guys. There was another, I believe, sit down conversation video that she was in. And I feel like I can't remember all the people. Clarence was in it, but there was like four other people in it, and they were just chilling, lounging. And it was like two, three in the morning, and she and they blamed it on that. Okay, her being tired, but you could see she was like zoning out. It looked like she was glitching. It's more than just being tired. It's more than just being, you know, whatever the case may be. However they look, that's just how I feel. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. I know it's wrong, but pork ribs they slap. Right, pork ribs are good. When it comes to the 4th of July, are you the type that uh, you do your own fireworks type of celebration? I don't touch no fire. Mm -mm. I'll leave that to whoever. Because you're already in the fire, baby. You're I'll leave that to whoever would like to play with fire. But you're you fired fire up burn. already. And I got burned before from a fireworks. You have? Yeah, right here on my leg. Still, right. still there? Uh, mm -hmm. Burn marking? Yep. Explain what happened. These artists always like to play with fire and wonder why they get burned. I say it all the time on these type of videos. And I guess when um, it was supposed to shoot up into the sky, it fell over and shot towards me, and it hit my leg and burned my skin off. Mm. Just that, a little bit though. Was that painful? Yeah. An instant pain when it happened, or? It just felt really burnt. Mm. And it was stinging. Did my skin was pink. Like it was pink under there. I got a pee so bad. Almost though. like oh another God. layer of skin. The other layer of skin, really. Mm hmm It was pink. I've never seen that. Pink like your muscle or, or you pink. Know, what is this? Oh, you won't go nowhere unless you sell your soul for it. That's why y'all pulling her away. I'm just asking a question. Are y'all trying to get her to do that? I've been knowing that, man. I've been knowing that. I've been knowing that, you know? Clarence, you could tell, man. The dude is, 
Clarence seemed like the type to do anything for success, material things and stuff like that. Just, you know, I don't know him personally, but he does seem like the type, oh, you want my soul? F here you go. You know what I'm saying? Let me get those Prada shoes, those Gucci shoes over there. I've been waiting to get those Louis Vuittons. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm stuck in the basement. Somebody bring me up. It does seem like he would want to sell out and he would definitely try to get Queen to do the same thing. Okay, we know he's very influential. Queen looks to him for guidance. So it can be very true that he is the handler. He was He's being used as a handler to get her to sell out, get her to join the dark side. Okay. I mean, I, I just know she don't talk about God no more. If you notice that. Before my, at the Mama's Hand video, One of, one of the producers or whatever had pulled my mom to the side, asked my mom, was like, how strong is your daughter's faith? Mm. And she was like, what do you mean how strong is her faith? And they were like, well, I'm just asking, I wanna know how strong her faith is because there's some pretty evil, wicked stuff that goes on in the music industry. Mm. And my mom said, well, if you wondering about her selling her soul, that is not gonna be the case. She because Queen know the Lord, she saved. Hmm. But that's why y'all don't want us around. Because money ain't the answer to everything. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You changed her all the way around. You're the materialistic one, mm -hmm. not her. That's facts. Y'all can go back in the road. I mean, y'all can go back. Um, that's facts. Let me know how you guys feel in the comment section down below. I definitely feel like Tina is telling the truth. And I've been saying that, man. Like, that's the devil's playground. So, of course, they're going to try to separate you from people who can remind you of God and remind you to have faith and remind you that it's not about this materialistic shit. It's not about the followers, not about the views. It's not about none of that, you know? Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. And yeah, my battery's finna die. But like I said, go subscribe to Lady underscore Jane, a very well put together video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I upload on my channel. DM me the videos to react to it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell the uncle Joey still a hard. We'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.